Happy Friday. How you doing? How was your week? Hope it's going well. Well, it's that time. The Uncle Brian Happy Friday Week in Review Roundup video. Yeehaw. Well, what's going on this week? Oh, I heard uh, some kind-hearted guy gave Jabba a nice power tool he can use to get the lug nuts off his wheels. Dave. I have a friend, Dave, too. He gave me something, too. I'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, some guy, Dave, out of the clear blue, sent him a brand new power tool, you know. And use it to loosen nuts and things so that way he doesn't have to be there with you know crossbar single tire iron to try to get the lugs off those wheels you know so now you can do it with a power tool my opinion for this worth the guy might have been better off to send him four jack jack stands that we really need you know, to be able to get under those cars and do some work on it that as of now we can't, because you can't fit his ass under that fucking car to do anything. You can barely get his head under there to be able to get an arm and point. He's still trying to find a fucking fuel leak, I guess, right? He's going to need that to get that fucking holes up, to get those headers on there. And from what I saw, a brief glimpse of it, at the whole thing sitting on the fucking ground in the ass end. You know, I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. How is that power tool even going to be of any use? I mean, what's the point of having it? I mean, if you're going to loosen lug nuts, you've got to be able to get the car up, get the wheel off the ground to be able to get those lug nuts off, to get the wheel off. If you can't even get the car up off the fucking ground to get the wheels off the ground, what fucking good is that power tool? You tell me. Does that make any fucking sense to you? I'm going to tell you what three people told me. What people told me. I'm just repeating it. They said, oh, yeah. Wouldn't surprise me if he bought that himself to show and say that somebody gave it to him. So it'll appear like, oh, see, there are people that really like me. They appreciate me on here. That's why they were so willing to go out of their way and spend their money to send me this. Yeah, okay. Whatever. But I got a friend, Dave, too. I got a friend, Dave, too. You know, DRC Racing down in Florida. Hey, what's up, Dave? Hey, how's your wife doing? His wife loves me. She loves her Uncle Brian. She really does. Especially when I say motherfucker. That makes her a fucking day. Anyway, uh, I have a friend, Dave, too. He sent me something. You know, to help me out. Because I have the physical strength, you know, to be able to take a tire iron and loosen any nuts on vehicles. That I need to get a tire off for whatever reason. Hey, it can happen at times. I can be bending down and, you know, pulling to get that one lug that, that's really tough and you're really pulling and pulling. Sometimes you make a lot of strength. It can happen to anyone. Making all that strength, all that force, especially in your lower abdomen when you're pulling. Sometimes you could fight, even shit yourself, you know what I mean? So he was so concerned that that doesn't happen to me. And I'm not out there trying to get a lug nut off a wheel and I end up doing a job of getting a blowout in my underwear, you know what I mean? He sent me some underwear, brand new, three-pack, Hanes, it's the good shit, came from Walmart, not that shit that's made in China, and some Korean guy is selling it in a fucking flea market, oh no, no, nothing but the best for Uncle Brian, thanks Dave, I really appreciate it, uh, that's the deal, now that I heard Sanford's yakking about Rust-Oleum rattle can spray paints, okay, I thought he would have had a little something more productive to be devoting his time to since he's got Dr. Doolittle or now taking over the chore of trying to get that Jeep, you know, fixed right. I thought maybe he'd be working on this mule car, propane engine, maybe getting back to the MC Hammer car so next time he goes to the track it won't be an embarrassment again. I thought maybe he'd be doing something with his vehicles instead of running his mouth and yakking about fucking rust -oleum. Rattle can spray paints. Unless maybe that's going to be his next paint project. He's going to paint another car, this time with a rattle can. Maybe the MC Hammer car, put a cool paint on it, put a name on it or something. You know what I mean? I even forgot about that too. See, more things come back to me as time goes by. 
I had mentioned yesterday, you know, his buddy Super Ron Osborne did all the body work, fixed up the fucking charger for him, and then I guess he realized how much he was being used and said, fuck you, and walked away. Sanford even said in the beginning, too, oh, when he's all done with the charger and, and after he paints the charger, he was going to paint it gold. Remember he said he was going to paint it gold? No, the guy was going to paint it, not him. Then when that was all done, he was going to straighten out all the body because Al did a lousy job on the body work. What the fuck's he complaining about it? At least he did something on it. Sanford didn't do shit. I already went over this. Right? I covered a lot of topics this week, haven't I? Um, then he was going to straighten out all the body. I think Sanford, oh, it looks like mashed potatoes all over it. Well, if Sanford could do a better job, why the fuck didn't he do it? I'm fucking believable, that motherfucker. Lazy, incompetent, attention stuff, money grubbing fool on here. Third rate hack mechanic, too. Actually, calling him a third rate hack mechanic is giving him a fucking compliment. I take it back. <coughs> and uh, he was going to paint that metal flake. Remember, make it look like a real 60s era gasser. He was going to paint it all metal flake and make it look real cool. That didn't happen either. So, anyway, I guess that's about it for this week. And uh, I tell you, man, the weather, my heart goes out to everyone over in the Midwest and Southern states that have been hit with, and so I caught it on the news, fucking tornadoes and what a devastation. And other severe weather here in New England, man, <laughs> fucking 50, 60 mile an hour winds, fuck, especially coming off the ocean here, we're a little more exposed to it than the inner part of the city. Fucking house would shake like this and the windows, bang, fuck, somebody was coming by and <laughs> slamming their fucking palms against windows. Shit or the rain. Little north of us going up towards New Hampshire and Maine and Vermont, they got hit with all the snow. We got a little bit of a snow mix overnight. Um, and then it changed back to rain, but it was still a heavy wind-driven rain that was coming fucking sideways. And weather's been nasty. I hope everyone's okay. Hope they're safe. And what I saw up on the news this morning up in New Hampshire parts north of us here, they got hit with like two and up to three feet of snow in some area, especially up in Maine. Kenny Brackett, I hope you're doing okay up there. I know Kenny's up in Maine, a couple other guys too. Hope you guys are safe up there, you haven't lost your power, and, you know. Hope you're doing okay up there. Yeah, water rain, it's starting to calm down. The winds are like a sustained 25 to 30 miles an hour constant. But we saw those big wind gusts. We got some recorded up to 73 miles an hour. And there were sustained winds of like 40 to 45 miles an hour. And then, bang, a 60 mile an hour gust. Bang, a 55 mile an hour gust. Bang, a 72 mile an hour gust. It has not been fun the last couple of days here in New England. It has not been fun in many other parts of the country. And I hope wherever you are, you're doing okay. You weren't impacted by this uh, severe weather. You know, between tornadoes, rain, wind, boarding. So, you know what I always say when I end my Happy Friday video, when I finally shut the fuck up because people are tired of fucking listening to me. Uh, have a great weekend. Have fun. Stay safe.